What's up guys and welcome back to my third video and uh, final for this group of three um, reviews for the new uh, new wave for 2018 of Star Wars The Black Series in the 6 inch scale. We've got DJ from Canto Bite. Whether you love this character or hate, you hate this character, um, that's completely up to you. I really like him. I think he's fantastic. He is, uh, he's slimy. He's... He's a pirate, he's he's nasty, he's potentially potentially good. He's at the same time he's potentially as bad as any other villain. Um, and yeah, he essentially is a villain much like Jabba the Hutt. He's an underworld figure, um, in that sense. He's he's part of that scum and villainy, I guess, that uh, we've we've grown to understand and this is just another another face of that sort of underworld um, of Star Wars, of the Star Wars galaxy. So we're gonna have a look at the artwork. Yeah, I just found his character to be really, I liked his stutter. <laughs> I think that was hilarious. Um, he wakes up and he's wandering around with his boots thrown over his shoulders and when they uh, infiltrate the uh, Star Destroyer, he's got his Imperial cap on backwards. Like, he just doesn't care. He's out for himself. So there's a little bit of a write-up there on DJ. And we don't know his real name. But DJ is all we need to know. Um, and we see here on his hat... means don't join that's but he was saying he's not in, he's not interested in getting involved with the politics and the the good side and the bad side or whatever it is he's he's out for number one he's looking after himself um he's he's a means to an end um really he's well, he's out for his own own goods really um much like how Han Solo is when we meet him at the start of A New Hope. He's out for himself. And most of the way through the movie until the very end, Han Solo is out for number one. He wants to look after himself. Um, DJ's probably just a slightly slimier, conniving version of that. Um, he's probably a little bit smarter than Han Solo. Don't get me wrong, Han Solo's a smart man. But being this guy, being a sort of slicer, code breaker, hacker, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I just really like this. And this is a good figure. Let's talk about the figure. I spent a few minutes talking about the character. Let's talk about this figure. Um, so again, we get the digital face sculpt, which I think benefits this figure greatly. Um, it's a little off. It's It could it could be a little better, um, I'll be honest. I think it's pretty good. Uh, the Let me just say, imagine if they had to do this 5 o'clock shadow with the old method. It, would, it wouldn't have come across as good. I'm trying to get those eyes looking like they do. He's a little bit sleepy. Maybe he's he's a bit of an alcoholic, perhaps. Maybe he likes his booze. Um, I don't think they would have got that right with the old paint style, and they've uh, and they've done it here. I think it looks mostly it looks pretty good. Um, certainly, certainly not my favourite of the three figures, but. I like the rest of the figure. I think it's awesome. I really, really do like this. I like the coat. Um, I like this sort of gold accentuating on his collar there. Um, and the fact that his collar sort of flips back over. Um, I do like the scene in the movie where he's got it sort of flipped up. Flipped up straight around his head. Um, and then like half a second later he's got it flipped down again. So there's obviously a little bit of dialogue cut from that scene. Um, but it's just, it's a dirty old jacket. He's a bit of a grifter, you know. He's got a, he's got a belt holster there where he's got a blaster pistol holstered in there. That's the same as um, the more recent pose. It's a little bit of, it's a tight fit. Um, it's not gonna pop it out of the second, but it's in there, it fits nicely. See the belt, sort of standard brown pants and his boots. But you see yeah, the detail on the jacket, look at the creases, it looks dirty, looks like he's been through the... Looks like he's been through a trash compact, to be honest, this jacket. Um, yeah, it's filthy. 
He's had a few big nights at the casino there on Canto Bight. I actually really like his um his blaster. Looks cool. Yeah, but there's part of me that wants. I hope we get a little bit more DJ in episode nine. I hope he uh, not necessarily redeems himself, but I hope he provides something to the story of episode nine. Because uh, I found him to be reasonably interesting. In the end, he didn't help at all. Um, but it's cool. He's wearing some jewelry. Yeah, not a bad figure at all. Excuse me. Yeah, I still think it's a reasonably good likeness. Let me just try and put the... Yeah, it's alright. I'm happy with it. I like his little tuft of hair that sculpting is really cool. And the fact that they've um, defined it as a uh, canto bite, I wonder if we're going to get another version of him in his in the imperial disguise i think that would be fun fun too with a rose or something that'll be good all right guys that just about wraps up this little series of videos i hope you've enjoyed them and i hope i've done some justice to to what hasbro has done here because they've uh they've done a great thing here and i'm seriously looking forward to what the future of black series brings we've got some great figures coming out this year um, Grand Moff Tarkin, we've got Dengar, um, we've got 4LOM, hopefully we get Zuckus too. Um, we got some really good stuff coming and uh, yeah this is only the beginning for a big year in Star Wars collecting. Um, yeah we've got Han Solo coming up again shortly in a few months so I'm sure there'll be plenty of characters from that to collect as well. So uh, we'll wait and see. Let the good times roll. Alright guys, until my next video, thank you very much for watching. Drop a com excuse me, drop a comment below. And until next time, may the force be with you.